we've reached the stretch run of the NFL season when teams are jockeying for playoff position and for who's going to get a top pick in next year's NFL draft. And the strength of schedule goes a long way to determining both of those things. So we simulate the season thousands of times, and thanks to the machine learning capabilities of AWS, we can tell you who has the easiest and who has the hardest road going forward. Let's start with the hardest. The five hardest schedules here, you'll notice teams that are good, teams that are not so good. So which one of these has the biggest impact? Yeah, for me, it's San Francisco, right? Right now, they would be the one seed in the NFC if the season ended today, but they play in a division that's tough, right? The, we just saw a Monday Night Football. Seattle came into their house, won in overtime. Arizona is not an easy game you know, for any team that plays them as well. And then, of course, the Los Angeles Rams, just a year off of being uh, the NFC champion. They also get the Ravens and the Saints on their schedule. The Saints, I think, will be their direct competition for the number one seed. So a lot has happened for San Francisco this year, but I think more is yet to be determined, and it's a, it's a function of this schedule. Well, I have a similar answer, and that's the Seahawks, but not because it's hard, because I think it's actually slightly easier than the Niners, and that's important because week 17 is in Seattle against the Niners, and because they won in San Francisco, that game is going to go a long way potentially. The Niners, as you mentioned, they have the Packers on Sunday night now, the Saints, so it's only getting harder for the, the Niners and the Seahawks, but it might be a little easier for the Seahawks. Is that the early favorite to get flexed in Sunday night football week 17? I know nothing. <laughs> I'm just saying I would watch. I would probably watch. All right, uh, the most uh, the easiest schedules going forward, some teams that could really use an easy schedule yep. going forward. You see the Browns and the Jets, you know, they both had terrible seasons. Their fan bases probably want to see some things turn around. To me, though, the two that stick out are the Steelers and the Eagles. I'll start with the Eagles because everyone just assumed, well, the Cowboys winning in that early Sunday night game against the Eagles, they're the division favorites. Yep. But now they've lost to the Jets for the Cowboys. The tides are turning, and everyone seems to be queuing into the fact that, well, the Eagles have an easy schedule going down the pike, and that could really help them win that division. So to me, that's the most interesting one. Yeah, I mean, having a head-to-head -head tiebreaker is usually worth more than the you know basically four percentage points we're giving Dallas over the Eagles right now. Um, but it's by virtue of the schedule. Dallas much more middle of the pack schedule. Philadelphia a far easier schedule. And if they are to get to the upset this week against New, Engl New England, it becomes even easier. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, versus uh, the Dallas Cowboys. For me, it's a team that did what Cleveland could not, and it's Pittsburgh, right? Cleveland has the second easiest schedule coming down the stretch here, but they didn't take advantage of enough games in the first uh, nine uh, for it to matter. Pittsburgh, to their credit, has. Uh, you know, coming back from an 0-3 start, beating up on some bad teams, but also winning some close games. There's, they sit right now at 5-4, and four, and, you know, they're basically in a driver's seat for a playoff, speed, uh, playoff berth in the AFC by virtue of that. Oakland, their uh, strict competitor, has you know, a few harder games, and therefore will have a harder time, uh, I think, getting that six seed, no matter how uh, impressive uh, John Gruden's been. They do have a quarterback that was actually starting to begin the year, though, so yeah. they have that going for them. Uh, the Browns, they get two games against the Bengals. If you can't turn your season around with two games against the Bengals, there is nothing I can do for you there. For more, head to pff.com to read this article and all the other great content that is made possible by our friends at AWS. You want to get rid of me and get back to more great PFF YouTube content? All you have to do is push that button right there and subscribe. Thanks for watching.